What's going on guys, John Elder here from Conanby.com and in this video, we're going to continue installing and tweaking our template files for our dentist website with Python and Django. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to continue installing and tweaking our templates for our dentist website so we can start making some money, you know, selling these websites to dentists. But before we get started, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos and books for a one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, in the last video, we installed all of the template files, the CSS files, the JavaScript files, the HTML files and the images into our Django project. And we started to tweak out our home.html page to add the Django static tag to all of the images, icons, um, JavaScripts and CSS files listed referenced in this page. Now, I didn't do it on camera because there's like 50 of them you have to do and that would have been really boring for you guys to watch me copy and paste these static tags for every one of these. But here's a tip for you guys if you are following along. I'll hit the control F key to uh, pull up this find thing and I'll just type in dot PNG and that will search out all the PNG files and you just keep clicking next and you just want to go through here and add a static tag for all of those PNG files. When you get all the way through this thing, go back up to the top, do the same thing, but instead of PNG type in JPEG because a lot of times websites have images that are JPEG files. A lot of times they have images that are PNG files. In our case here, they use both. So you want to come through here and search out and just add your static tag for each one of them. You can see how I've done this here. It's a little weird inside these parentheses where your static tag goes and just keep clicking find to go through and find every reference to the JPEG to a JPEG file and add your static tag to each one. And then finally do the same thing for .js. And these are JavaScript files here. They're usually at the bottom of the file. You can see they are in our case right here. And again, just add your static tag to each of these references. Okay, so I'm going to assume you went ahead and did all that. It's a huge undertaking. It took me 10 or 15 minutes. It's just tedious. But now we're done, right? Not quite. There's still one more thing we need to do. So I'm going to head back over to my terminal and let's run our server Python manage.py run server. Okay, and then pull up the site. And now when we hit reload, it's starting to look a little better, but it's still if we scroll down, it's still kind of messed up. So what's going on? Well, if you remember when we installed all of these files, all of our template files, there was something a little weird about the CSS. Remember, there was two CSS files, and we renamed the one that was there style two. And then we dragged and dropped the original style that CSS file it was sitting with all the other HTML files in our unzipped folder. Well, this is causing some problems. So we need to open this and see what's going on. So if we kind of look through here, we see Oh, look at this right here, it's importing a whole bunch of other CSS files. And if you if you look here, you can see like font awesome. That's right here. Um, magnificent pop up. That's right here, right? So it's pointing these at CS at the CSS folder because this file was originally not in the CSS folder and we moved it into the CSS folder because we have to in order to use it with Django. Well, all we have to do now is just get rid of that reference to each of these, right? And if you download and install some other template, you're likely not gonna have to do this, but you might. So. You always kind of want to look through here and see. Now also this style.css, we renamed that to style two. So we'll need to make that reference there. Okay, so now if we save this, that should do the trick, right? So let's head back over here and hit reload. And yes, it, it worked. And I also came through here and, and changed some of the text. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. But now it's finally working, we can scroll down, we can see uh, things are doing this is JavaScript, probably that's making those things move. JavaScript often does animation. We've got this uh, video thing here, we might want to change that. 
Got this cool pricing chart, book an appointment thing, some images, very, very cool. And uh, yeah, kind of neat. So now the only thing left to do is go through here and kind of update this. And you see, I've already kind of started. It says, my name is John Elder and I'm the, oh, it disappeared, come back. My name is John Elder and I'm the greatest darn dentist who ever lived. That's right. You know, you're gonna wanna come through here and modify this however you want. So how do we do that? Well, we just do that in this home.html file. Just start at the top and come through here and uh, change everything you wanna change. You probably wanna change this meta description. I changed the title to Dr. John Smith DMD. Let's change it to Dr. John Elder DMD. If we save this, come back here and hit reload. You see up here in the title tab, it says Dr. John Elder DMD. I am not a dentist. <laughs> My dad is actually, that's ironic. But uh, that's just how you do it. So just come through here and start updating this. Like right here, 10 Zerbert Street, New York, New York. Well, maybe we wanna change this to 50 Zerbert Street. Come back here, reload. Boom, now it says 50 Zerbert Street up here, right? So just come through here and change all these things. Uh, look at this video. Maybe we wanna replace this video. Let's do that real quick. Well, I'm gonna put uh, a YouTube video there, right? So I would come back to youtube.com, navigate to my channel, and uh, let's just grab a random video. I don't know, intro to NumPy. And if we come down here to share and then click embed, we can grab this embed code and we can just copy it, right? Now, if we just come back here, and now I don't know where the video thing is. So I'm gonna hit control F again to pull up this search thing. And I'm just gonna type in video. And if we get lucky, oh, we did. Here it is, a little video area. So I'm looking through here and I see, here's that image of that woman with the video player button right there. So I'm just gonna find this class Dento video area and just, I'm gonna click on it and I'll see the closing div tag. So I know everything inside of here is probably where we wanna now paste, control V, to paste that YouTube video, right? So if we save this, head back over to our website. Hey, now we got a video there. We can click on it. Look at that handsome devil. <laughs> we have a video. So, you know, if your dentist has a video he wants to put there, that's how you do it. Now, that's a YouTube video. There's all this other stuff. I personally would probably use something like Vimeo so I could customize this player and make it look exactly like I want. But, uh, you know, I'll just leave that to you. So next, let's talk about images. You know, you're going to want to customize all the main images here with pictures from your particular dental office that you're, you know, being paid to build this website for. So how do you do that? Well, it's just the same as dragging and dropping like we did with the template files. So what I would usually do is right click on any image you wanna change and click view image. Why? Because we need to see how big this image is. And we see up here in the tool, the title bar here, it says 600 by 696. Those are pixels, that's 600 across by 696 down. And if you want your picture to look good in this template, it probably needs to be that size, right? So. You know, your dentist is not going to give you images that are 600 by 696. You're likely going to have to resize them using Photoshop or GIMP, or there's all kinds of online free tools that will resize images for you. I'll leave that to you. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm going to assume you know. But what we need to do now is replace this image. And there's a couple of ways we can do it. Now, first, let's note where this is. It's in Static, Websites, IMG, BG, IMG, and then it's just called 15.jpg. So let's pull up our code here and let's try and hunt that guy down. So we go to static, website, and then IMG, and then it was BG IMG, and then 15, and there it is. So what we can do is we can replace this image or we can add another image and then just change the HTML code. And that's probably what I would do because I don't want to be destructive and delete this image unnecessarily when we can just add our own image and uh, change the code a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up another file explorer. And I did that by just going to my Windows start menu and typing in file explorer, two words, and then clicking on the little icon that came up. And I, ha I created this folder on my desktop and I just, I added this dentist picture. And here's the picture. I'm gonna pretend this is the dentist that's hired us. She wants us to add this picture 
instead of this picture. So let's do that real quick. So we've got this picture. We also now need to open another file explorer. So let's do this. And this is just the same exact thing that we did when we created our, when we dragged and dropped all of our template files. So just like we did earlier, we go to our C drive, go to our dentist site directory, our dentist directory, our static folder, website, and then it's an image, BG image, remember? And then look through here just to make sure, find that 15, there it is. So that's the image we want to replace. So we're in the right spot. So now all we have to do is grab our new image right here and drag it over here and drop it. And when we do, we can actually close these. When we do, we see there it is, dentist.jpg, and there it is. So now all we have to do is go to our homepage, run a search, so control F, so this little search bar pops up, find 15.jpg, and there it is. And now we could just change it to dentist.jpg, right? So now if we save this, head back over to our app, and hit reload, boom, there it is. Just that easy. So go through here and do that for all the images that you wanna change out. Now, some of these you're gonna to wanna to keep, like this thing right here in the background, these dental tools, you might wanna keep those. Those are just generic anyway, they just look good. Like right here, that's, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but that looks good, right? You probably wanna keep that. Uh, this you know, generic girl having her teeth worked on, you probably wanna keep that unless your specific dentist says, I want to change those. Like these images, you're definitely going to want to change these. This image, these images right here, you're definitely going to want to change those. Those are customer testimonials. You'll need to update this with real customer testimonials. Otherwise, I think that's probably illegal. So I'll leave that to you. Just go through here. You probably want to update this logo. Your dentist will have their own logo or you might create one for them. However that goes, you know, or you might hire a, a design person to create one for you because I don't know about you, but I am terrible at design stuff. I'm really good at coding, but design, not so much. So I would probably just go to fiverr.com or something and hire somebody for 10 bucks to make you a little logo or something, you know, whatever. But I'll leave that to you. Now you know how to pull your new file or your new images into your Django project and reference them on this page. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So I think in the next video, we'll start to set up some of these other pages. Right now, they, they don't exist. We haven't built them yet. So we'll start to look at that in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. That really helps and I really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 80,000 students now learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video.